thanks for tuning in to Chuck's Guitar Hebrew. Today I'm looking at a Daisy Rock guitar I honestly just picked up at a pawn shop about half an hour ago for $100. I first saw the body, I was like, that's interesting. Then I saw it was Daisy Rock, but I still picked it up and gave it a shot. Now these normally retail for $400 new. So when they said they could get me out the door for $100, I jumped on it. Because it actually has some pretty good specs. It's a semi-hollow body, it's actually a basswood body, but it's actually not a bad wraparound bridge. I think I read, since I bought this used, I got no literature with it, but from what I read, these are Firebird inspired, uh, but Duncan designed mini humbucker types. 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length, like a Gibson guitar, and it actually has Grover tuners. But for 100 bucks, I think I did pretty good. I mean, I had to do minimal setup work, but I don't know if I can blame that on Daisy Rock or if the person that had it before me messed with it, but I think the intonation's pretty darn close with this wraparound bridge. I had to kind of little hex screws in there you move you can move the whole bridge back so it's a little sharp when I first got it I'm noticing so far it is a little little neck heavy but it's a really light guitar kind of a narrow fretboard but there's actually no sharp fret ends and they're pretty tall frets so there's a lot of life I think in these frets the neck feels comfortable let's jump into some sounds I'm playing through my Mesa Buggy Studio 22 caliber plus amp and then after I go through some sounds, I'll jump in with a backing track from a Digitech Trio and jam out a little more. So, thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And make sure you follow me on all my social media, but stick around for a little while. I'm going to jam out.
Okay, so I really only have a couple complaints with this narrow neck, because it's really meant to be a kid's guitar, I think, for, for people with smaller hands. The high E string rolls off the edge pretty easily, so you got to kind of be careful. Or maybe I've just been playing wider guitars for so long. But actually, other than that, that's my only complaint. And it's really probably just me getting used to this guitar. But it stayed in tune through all that. That's surprising. And I checked, you know, the intonation up high. Seemed probably about as close as a wraparound bridge is going to get. So. You know, it's single ply binding, not the fanciest binding, but I think it's overall a pretty cool looking guitar. It's light. My back doesn't feel pain. So please be sure to like and subscribe. I'll play us out jamming along with the Digitech Trio.